Okay, uh, I'm Jonathan Reams. Uh, I do a few things. I have a position at the Norwegian University of Science and Technology as an associate professor teaching in a master's in leadership and a master's in counseling program. I'm also the editor-in-chief of a journal called Integral Review, an online peer-reviewed academic journal. I'm also a co-founder of the Center for Transformative Leadership in Norway. And I'm also involved in the leadership circle for the past eight years and currently in the process of taking on Europe as a licensee. Well, I think, you know, when I was telling that story and I got to the beginning when my brakes actually failed, and as I said, there's no time to think. And we often encounter that in situations where we're just confronted with something and you need an answer now. And that's where the notion of practice in all sorts of senses comes in. So for me, this being able to connect to stillness in the midst of a very traumatic and exciting situation had to do with cultivating the practice of finding that stillness every day for over 35 years. That's been one of my daily practices. And so when that becomes ingrained, it kind of rehardwires our default. What's the first response that comes up? Okay, for me it was the Okay, now what's present to do? And just cultivating that, you train the brain, neuroplasticity. Yeah, so basically your brain is a bit of plasticity, but you can mold, you can mold any it. way that you want. It, so now it takes time and practice, it doesn't change overnight. And this is the thing I think we learn. Andrew talked a lot about the alchemical process of burning off impurities. The process of engaging in that kind of practice over time leads you to face your own impurities, your own shadows, your own limitations, and constantly be confronted by these things and learn how to regain your balance in relation to them. Uh, I was actually asked to write something, a blurb from the papers here, and one of the three points that I gave was, you know, taking time makes time. Because we always have encounter this, I don't have time to stop and reflect. And yet reflection is a key competency that leaders need. And what I see time and time again is if leaders are able to take the time to reflect, even if it's two minutes after a meeting, just think, did that go the way I wanted it to? What happened? Maybe ask some questions. That that makes time later because the unintended consequences of not taking time to reflect are that you have to put out fires later. And so you take that time in the beginning and it makes you time down the road.